series and the CIS side of things to start the day, which is why we've had a slow start here. But we are into it now, and it is Astralis getting off to a good start with Magisk finding the opening kill. My name is Hawker, joined by Dean. How are we doing, Dean? You didn't catch them all. But they've been looking really impressive. I think Astralis might be a bit too much for them to handle. But I think that they can definitely give us at least a, a solid enough showing here on these maps. No matter whether it goes two or three. But look at this. Right now there's a good bit of damage actually being connected by those Heretics players. Unfortunately not really connecting on any kills until it is eventually one that comes in from Maka. But with that of course the bomb site now falling to Astralis. The bomb will be planted. And Zipix being tagged up fairly heavily, probably won't be re-peaking that player on short, instead drops down with his teammates. And that was perfectly played. They force it all really onto that one player in the spawn and then leave it left on Maka in the one on four, which is quite difficult, especially... especially. Yeah, immediately re-smoking off the spawn and should be able to get themselves in towards the split. And the Vera wants to try and challenge at the door before they can actually close in the distance and... He does unfortunately go straight down. The Vice deals with XMS on the back of the pl uh, platform. And this round unfortunately being over already. I was about to say, that's if they can even save these three rifles, which isn't guaranteed, especially because Lucky's already gone. Device lands another shot. And that is not what Heretics wanted at the end of this round. They get hunted down fully. As force Heretics back. So this is a pretty nice start to the round for Astralis. As they're going to go for this A play. Looking to commit, Mac is actually going to be sandwiched in, forces the fight against Magisk, and with that regains the long control at least now for them to uh, work with when it does come down to that retake. Unfortunately, Dupree walks out mid, catches Nevera coming off that B bomb site, and at this point realizes that most there is just one on the site itself, and then obviously a fairly long rotation needed by Maka back from long, so they're going to try and capitalize on it. XMS playing up close, not immediately being cleared, actually gets the second as well from it, and now it's only Device coming out to trade with the op, will find it. And now he has the one-on-one. -on -one. A little bit of time at least being delayed for us. So there is the off already posted up in towards the spawn. The vice realizing that that could be an issue. Flashes the cross. It would be pretty awkward for him to spam the smoke with the AWP right now. There is that smoke for the tunnels. And Device has got to get aggressive here. Maka with a molly on the back of the smoke. That could be it here. He's defusing. Device can't do anything about it. Device moving in, but he's not got the angle. He burns alive. And Maka, without the kit, somehow wins the clutch. Magisk actually catches Nevera there towards the door. This gives them a big opening. Again, though, there is XMS in towards the car they have to deal with. Got two kills the previous time around that this B push came in. Unfortunately, not finding anything now. And actually had Lucky attempt to give him the assistance as well, and he goes immediately down. So suddenly it has dropped back into a position where Heretics have the disadvantage to try and claim the retake. Dupree, I don't think it's going to expect Kiyoshima to be coming in so quickly from the spawn. And indeed, despite quickly shifting his attention, he is still taken out before he can react. So a two on two now, definitely becoming winnable once again. Smoke makes things a little bit more complicated. Really need everything, uh, everything they can, that you can actually get to work with. I'm gonna see if they get salvage. Oh, Maka, he finds the head of device though, jumping up on the Xbox. That's a big find. And although you said Heretics have backed away from long, they still have one player up close on the car. And with Maka shifting back in, I was going to say they could definitely play off of each other. Dupree actually spot and heal before Maka could peek out. Again, the trade's just continuously going back and forth and not really giving either team control properly of the round. Zipex was already out long, so we will be joined by Glaive. And I mean, a small bit of utility, a smoke and a Molotov. Shoulder peeking to see if they could bait out the off shot. And they do indeed, but Maka's not going to miss it. Zipix all alone knows that first player is still towards the car now as the shot again rattles off. The smoke to try and close in the distance and force the one-on-one -on -one towards the bomb site. Actually does good damage to Nibiru. 40 seconds remaining. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to count them out because it's Zipix, but it does seem like a very difficult spot to be in. Oh, Mac is go. not missing today. Four kills from him in this round. Bit of a dodgy force by here. Only one AK in play for them. Straight out B, a lot of damage done by XMS. He actually only gets Ooh. one kill before going down, but Nevera lines them up at the op. A nice little collateral that definitely helps them out up against this weaker investment. Oh. Nice little bit of damage though done on the cross. Honestly, I think his main goal right now is to try and at least take down a couple of these players with him. The Molotov, it's just been played pretty well right now by Heretics, if I'm being honest. They forced them back out into the open to allow the peak to come in. Secondary up being retrieved again. Yeah, the execute though going to be coming in. 
smoke down towards the corner to ensure any ops around that position will be very limited in what vision they can have. As we can see for now though, there is just one player playing from the ramp, actually connecting quite a bit of damage there as well I believe, before they eventually manage to drop towards the spawn. The kills though still actually so far being found overall by Astralis. Managing to actually go two for one in the trades, giving themselves the bomb plant and if Navera doesn't get this kill up close on short then this retake is pretty much over for the CT side. Oh, Device is actually going to try and hunt and catches him just as he trades out to the pistol, I believe. And yeah, this is done. Uh, at this point, you need to save the op over, preferably for Maka. The M4 for XMS will be a nice help as well. It's more about now, me now needing to immediately bounce back, otherwise it does some does some towards magic. It's not really too substantial. It did at least delay the bomb plant as well. That's kind of the biggest thing. Lucky manages to find one, I believe, from the CT spawn. It was the pre who went down, and yeah, this is not looking too good for Astralis. Heretics have a great spot for the retake. You can see Astralis with that. Need to take that fight a little bit more aggressively to pull it back in their favor. Not working out too well as a one-for-one one is not ideal from this position. Zipix does have the flank, which hasn't been spotted. It allows for one kill to be found, but again, it is all on one man. Glaive left alone, gets two. Spots the final player as well. Not quite able to find the kill, though. It's Maka who comes out clutch. That was a lot closer than I think Heretics would have wanted there in the end. Main thing being, it's still sticking around. Doesn't really do anything this time, but it's just been a massive distraction. I mean, he's such a nuisance at this point. He lets Navera even pop out and get one. And this is just crumbling for Astralis. Maka gets two on short. Yeah, so well done from Keo, like you said, just to survive there. I think some players might try and go for multiple kills on that first time he pulled the trigger, but Keo knows if he just stays alive, he's going to be such a pain for Astralis. He knows that the T's are going to be very, very uncomfortable. Astralis not really getting any early picks, but they do seem to have a plan set in stone, and that's the commit in towards B. Are they going to clear this close corner? XMS actually not able to get the initial double spray down, only the one. Navira helped them out. The issue is now he's lost Navira and ends up eventually dropping the Glaive as well in that corner. Lucky given at least some time to rotate in because of the two kills that they were able to find. And they don't have much utility left on the Astralis device. side. They're waiting for the flank low device. Pounces in the back lines and now Heretics have got to be looking both directions. This is not the best case scenario for them. Astralis grouping up for the B site play. Lucky's got this angle though. Still no nades for the cross. So Lucky could do the damage, but Zipex gets the kill and Keo gets his head ripped clean off. Good shot from Glaive and Astralis just about get and then he picks immediately, although, hang on, there is a little bit of a gap. This is risky, there's two players posted on this, at least finds one. But that's going to prompt Astralis to go forward, leaving just XMS to try and hold it down. True to Smoke gets one and actually tra decides to trade places. They're hugging, they're kissing, anything but shooting apparently. XMS eventually will fulfill what I wanted and go ahead and pick up a couple of headshots. The Vice all alone. Oh, well, XMS has finally been dealt with, but he's caused way too much chaos for Astralis in this round. And now Ballsy. Device, yeah, he's got to land some shots. Device has to be ballsy here as well with the push, and it's not going to pay off for him. Nivera closes out the half, and Heretics, they've been one of the surprise packages of this tournament so far. We'll see if they can continue that into the second half as we get into this pistol. Yeah, not really going to be taking their time at all with this round. Trying to go straight on towards B. It was actually the bomb that was leading the way. It drops immediately. We're seeing already a good few players for the CT side rotate it in. It's actually Zipix who's the last line of defense, but only Kiyoshima, Kiyoshima remaining on the side of Heretics. That was a bit of an awkward battle. Eventually winning it out. Puts the smoke down. That could hold off that player for a little while who's around the mid area. Try and move in together. And yeah, not really going to be budging off that first one. So the bomb will at least be planted. That's a big positive for Keo. The timing is so unfortunate. Just as he moved his crosshair away was when the vice actually peeked into that angle. So yeah. That one does some pretty decent oh. damage, I do believe. Not able to quite catch it. My hood not shown it when we're in that one. But yeah, I mean, overall, uh, pretty good work by Heretics to eventually get that bomb planted. It's just the Stratos have all five players now ready on short. But with two MP9s, it is going to be tougher to be closing this distance. So those weapons can actually be effective. See the smoke going down towards the spawn now, giving some room for them to begin to push forward. And it's actually Glaive to find that open, and Magis takes out Navira over towards the car as well. And this is just falling apart right now for Heretics. Maka doing what he can to recover, but it's not going to be enough. Kiyoshima left alone. There's one from him, but unfortunately with the bomb just being planted in behind the box, there's really not much he can do from long, other than try and fight to stay alive, which looks like he has been successful.
And the Vice, I mean, with the off, he's the first line of contact. The Flash does blind him, but he just waits, gets the time, and Zipix drops the bomb. The Vice will fall as he swings back in. Keo's doing what he can to recover this round, and that's two kills on long. But now he needs Lucky to find success so they can bring that bomb up, and even then, Crossin is going to be an effort. But with two smokes, if they put these down, they actually should have a good opportunity right now in this oh, two on two. Where's Keo? Oh, he's so Run. slow. One smoke, Run. two smokes, but he crosses before it. Damage oh. done, but not the kill. The nade the might nade. be it, though. Eight health left on Keo. Has he got time? Has he got time? No! Astralis win on time. The kill comes in after the round is already over. Safely, but Device is posted up on this angle, and Keo's about to cross. He might be in trouble. No, never mind. Keo is the man to get the kill. Fantastic shot from Keo to open up this round, and Heretics have got the early advantage. You know, Glaive could be in trouble. Glaive with the orb needs to be careful. Oh, I thought he landed the shot for a second. I've to deal with. Astralis have held their nades. This could be the counter to the execute that Heretics have been running. 20 seconds and they still aren't out A long. Finally, they're making what? their move but this it's has to be done. so fast. This is pretty much done. Oh. If I'm being honest, Dupree even gets a collateral insult to injury. Zipix takes down that short push and it's done. They have to back away. I really don't know if they really had, if they had time to actually get that bomb onto the site even if that collateral didn't come in. The We'll have mollies and such also to try and delay this push once it commences. So here we go, the smoke's again going down. Heretic's going back to what worked for them earlier on. But the nade is perfectly timed again. So much damage being dealt out before Heretics are even able to spot anyone. Zipex actually continuing to face this with the flash from Glaive. Nearly lined up two of them, but has instead just extended them into the five on three advantage. He's feeling pretty good about that right now. Smoke down, he doesn't really want to risk peeking around that and giving any openings back to Heretics. So they will at least concede the bomb plan. That's one positive for it if you decide to take from it. But they're just continuously being chipped away on and Zipux again getting one through the smoke. And there it is. Cleaned up only one kill from Kiyoshima throughout that round. 13 to 10. Two man setup. Zipex is waiting at the blue container. They're not going to play this. Oh, they do. Zip XMS just about gets it. Zipex was trying to play the trigger discipline there, and Device is in trouble. There's no way he gets away with anything from this position. Nevera runs him down, and Heretics should have a great chance in this round. Glaive is rotating over to try and hold the A site. And there are a couple of CTs here. Two quick kills. Bomb drops on the A site, so they have to commit, and Glaive keeps on going. Three massive kills from the bomb site. And just as it looks like heretics have found the weakness, have found the way into the round, Astralis shut it down with the full on rotation, and Mako is stuck saving an AWP. Oh no, the money's not going to be great for them. No, and that was such a fun. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something more than special. This is going to be a miracle at this point if they manage to recover this round, especially as Nevera goes down. The Vice just can't be stopped. He's up to three. I think he's a little angry that this was such a close game. Nearly gets the collateral to end it. But it looks like he might still have the ace potentially. Glaive, I think, is rushing in to see if he can maybe steal it away from him. They just want to win. That's all that matters. Zipix actually gets it through the edge of the smoke. Terrible teammate. Yeah, I definitely have to say that. Heretics put up a great performance back on Dust2, but Inferno, a map here where I think those nades could be even more useful for Astralis. We had the stat, it was 71, I believe. Shout out to uh, Professor, of course. He is going to be smoked off. Was hoping to try and catch one more player as the push was coming in and may still be able to do so through the smoke. At least delaying for what is a very quick flank of Banana right now. Lots of utility on this pistol round for Astralis. It's a full-on B execute with the Molotovs, and it gets them the bomb down safely. Now they have to play the post plant, though. A second smoke deployed, and the CTs are stuck on Banana, but XMS gets the kill from CT spawn. Magis trying to fight his way out of this one alongside Device, but it's not looking likely. Device is run down by all the Heretics players. So even though Astralis' utility gets them onto the bomb site, the post plant isn't too successful for them. Forced XMS who was up on balcony to drop off towards the bomb site. No smoke, I don't believe, towards Moto though, so there is still gonna be the help coming in from long as well. So this is gonna be tough. Quite a bit of damage actually being done by the HGs as well. Maka able to go ahead and pounce there and get himself a double and a little bit of SMG money being built up as well between XMS and Lucky. Away from the bison? Or maybe not. He's having to play close and okay. Keo's got the Deeg in his hand and Maka up on the boosted angle gets a kill of his own. Good work from Heretics to come back into this round. 
that was fantastic. I did not expect that to work out so well. Kyo just about survived on one health and haven't actually been put into the position with a man disadvantage. Dupree was looking to see if he could make the play to pull Astralis back into the round. And he's actually come in now towards Arch to watch this cross with the AWP. So being on one health isn't the biggest the deal when you have that weapon either way, especially when it's the vice that you're challenging up against. The upshot not even being able to be rang off at that point, and now it's all on Zipex. Eventually gets that one kill and gives himself the chance now to move towards B, but Mac is still in position, and he should be aware of this. Oh, the timing. As he took the smoke out. Bit unfortunate. Yeah. As you said, unfortunately not finding the tread, so they are still outnumbered for the moment. It's going to be brought up to B again. They line up for Kiyoshima, only able to get one. The Molotov, I believe, also doing some damage and forcing them forward into the crosser there as Lucky was holding. And with the smoke still down, XMS has a great position. They have to come through to try and retrieve that bomb, which is dropped on the other side of the smoke. And trying to do so, Mac is given the opportunity to go ahead and snatch away another kill. A smoke down now, so maybe Device can get in there, manage to sneak his way onto the bomb. Perhaps even run it back down Banana, but for the moment, I believe, just waiting for this rap injury to spawn from Dupree. Oh, this is just falling apart for Astralis. Dupree left to try and clutch out the one on two, and with XMS. And Dupree has got the time against him. Oh, Maka is holding the right angle. Triple kill for him. He switched it out for the AK in the ends there, and like you said... I've never seen Astralis get off to. Again, though, Heretics just continue to oppress no matter the opponent that they're against. Although Magisk just charging up through Banana apparently is a little bit too much for them to handle. But they're still not going to give up with these confident, aggressive plays. The issue is again, they've been caught by it. Zipix is holding this time around. Mac is still up close, wants to trade, and will be able to find it with the Tech 9. But we're seeing that mid aggression coming in in the meantime. And now they've lost the long control, so that's a lot of trouble for them. You can see the wrapping around towards the A bomb site, and Maka obviously in the pit. He's going to have a tough time holding down all of these angles. Oh, Device, I think, spotting two players in the spawn. Ooh, Maka nearly burns alive, but surely he's done for. Indeed, Dupree rains in fire from above. And Astralis have got themselves onto the A-bomb site. Finally looking likely to be their first round win, especially with Heretics backing away. They've made the save call. Astralis have got themselves into a 3v4. And, oh, Magic's great timing on this fight. Maka's not ready for it. They've also got players wrapping through A long, so Nevera has got a whole lot of pressure on him right now. He's got to solo hold this A site, and he's buying time for the rotate. Pushes the apps just at the right time. Magisk caught with a nade in his hands, and here comes the flank from Kiyoshima. Nade to the bomb site. Glaive gets one with the molly, but it's Zipex who's the last man standing. A 1v2 for the clutch player on the Astralis side. Fake taps the bomb again. Lucky not baited into the open. Zipex is going to go for it one more time. And Lucky has managed to get out into the open. Zipex didn't spot him. So Lucky lands an easy shot. And Heretics hold on on the A bomb. To plug the gap on Banana, but the nades are coming in. Keo runs past and Device isn't ready for it. He should have heard those steps, but he doesn't react quickly enough. And Heretics dominating this Banana position at the start of the round. Here we go, Makish is waiting. Oh, a little bit of an awkward timing. He throws the Molotov down towards Boiler instead. Dupree is able to bounce. But they may not expect the Vera actually goes as he sees the first player. Could have been maybe a little bit more patient there with the trigger. A little bit unfortunate because he will be traded back on by Glaive, but they still have the man advantage. And they also have XMS just fighting in the back of the bombsite, and they have no idea. Zipex! How the hell does he get that kill? All right, jumps up, spins around. Suddenly, it's a two-on-two. -two. Whoa, is Forget the bomb going bomb. B? Surely not. How has he slipped through the cracks? Glaive is getting over to the B site while Zipex gets all the kills over on A. This is outstanding from Astralis and Zipex is just going to back on out of there. Keo realizes he's been absolutely baited. Survived here has given them the ability to go ahead and get the full investment, but yeah, that was fantastic. Astralis bamboozled oh. them with that play, making it to the spawn. Keo players back out of banana and with the molotov going down that kind of puts them off from really getting the help from lucky who's back towards the bomb site maka decides to go forward gets a wall bank there so they're not really in positions to work off of each other astralis continue to move forward but they are slowing it down because of that smoke slightly Still the sandbag surprisingly Oof. Kyo pops up for a quick kill from the sandbags no nades really left for the cts though at least not on these b players so he can't pull back to the bomb site and Glaive is very ready on the angle. And Astralis with 20 seconds left. The bomb is going A. So it looks almost certain that Astralis are winning this round. Even with that kill from Nevera, the A site is wide open for the taking. Yeah, I think he's making the way. Yeah, now he's backing up. Oh, okay, actually goes down. Never mind. I jinxed it. Was it where was it planted? 
The Vice peeking in. Kind of lucky to have survived, but I don't think that's going to last very long. The Molotov forcing them out into the crosshair there. Lucky scoped up at the AWP. That is a man advantage here for Heretics, and it looks like Astralis haven't lost the player have decided to go ahead and bring this straight towards this A-bomb site. And they've made probably the correct decision with only two players here. The issue is, Maka connects that initial shot over towards Long, makes his way back through the Moto smoke that was intended to cut him off, and he just keeps on going. Three already being found. It's Magisk who's, uh, Magisk who's left, and the Vera ends that one. Nine to five, Heretics, David. That's basically all Astralis have. It's all about running onto the site and predicting the player's positions correctly. XMS fighting from pit, gets the first kill. He gets away with his life, but Magisk finds the refrag. Turned into a 2v2, and Heretics have to go for it. It's the last round of the half, so we'll see what they can do on this retake. Yeah, no real nades to work with, unfortunately, and Lucky being low. At least having the up can hang back a little bit more. Needs Kiyoshima really the way in towards the bomb site. Magisk actually wasn't watching the long push. Glaive was apparently sitting with his head down. I, I... Three nades. This could be interesting. Or it could do no damage. Nope. Just absolutely yeah, There was only two of them. Oof. It was only two of them, but they invested heavily into nades, so I would imagine they were hoping for that initial damage. Big find though by Glaive to still give them the opening kill there around the apartments. And I believe trying to wrap around Intro Long as well. That's the goal here for Heretics on the T side. I'm actually realizing that that's not a great idea anymore as the rotation had already come in. Instead, all focusing up true short and finding no kills so far. Kyo gets one. That's it though. Trying to trade out weapons. He can't find it. I'd never take a... Yeah, Kiyoshima brought a knife to a gunfight. I was going to say you never take a knife around banana early on and restrict the control for the d side and now already they have actually rotated back into a, uh, a standard setup pretty much right now magic keeps playing close to the corner but that's gonna be a tough spot to do anything from with so many players coming around from long indeed he goes down maka also catching the aggression through the banana smoke from glaive it is a little bit of a bonus round overall apart from the vice obviously as we said went for the m4 had to after going down before Spirit almost caught in the corner, actually does go down. It looked like he himself should have had that. Dupree's in a great position where he can still have quite a lot of impact. This is a bit scary. He actually hears them beginning to run back down mid. And that's allowed for Zipex to go position himself now. Or maybe not. Dupree's actually stopped the bomb. Long range MP9 looking for more. The CZ comes out. Will he be able to finish it? There we go. It's only Geo left. He gets himself one, but Zipex has already came around through Banana. And I don't think he's going to expect that. Oh no, he's got his back turned. He has no idea. Yeah, doesn't expect it at all. Wow. I, I don't know how Dupree survives for so long in those fights. Yeah, I think expecting this aggression that they've seen now for uh, quite a few rounds in a row from Astralis, they definitely want to keep it, especially over towards Banana with this playstyle of Zipex is able to find two. That Molotov just makes it so difficult for them to try and trade. And although they do eventually get one, Navira immediately burns alive. Suddenly, Maka's left in a one on four. I mean, this round has barely begun and already it is over. Running in through that Molotov down to 66, losing a third of his HP, not making it any easier for him up against four. And with that smoke at the bottom of Banana, he doesn't know if anyone could have already gotten themselves up close. And as we can see, that is the case. Two players pushing down mid. The Vice with the opter to finish that one off. And I'm scared of short, but Magisk about to take this fight and Maka wins it. Now they can quickly move into the A-bomb site. Smoke's deployed and Dupree is the solo holder. Tapping, but he can't connect any of these shots. He does some damage to XMS, but it's nowhere near enough. Even with Glaive getting one through the smoke, it isn't going to happen for them. Astralis have to call off this round. They have to save. Investigating. Okay. Here we go. He's trying to bait out the shot. The gun barrel spotted, but Device is not falling for it. Good shot from Device with the AWP. Glaive's looking to land one of his own, but he's forced away from Banana. The flashbang allows him to fall back. And Heretics all on Banana, setting up this B play. Glaive, though, who's already posted it up on the up, holding for that peak to come in. And it is Maka who he finds trying to come around the corner. That's the help of Zipix as well on towards construction. And already the help as well from Dupree, who's beginning to rotate into the spawn. Zipix flashed in to take the peak for himself. The up posted up from Glaive yet again from the pillar. And they just cleaned that one up quickly. Not a single. They've generally been very passive in these early gun rounds. So now that they've got the pistols, they've got a bit more freedom. Unfortunately, XMS's freedom is used to peek down mid where Glaive was ready for it. Dupree doesn't get that kill. Glaive steals it away, but the AWP 
is doing all the work necessary so far. Dupree goes back for more. He finally gets the kill he was waiting for. And Zipex also pushes down B. I think you can see at this point, Astral is just so comfortable. They're getting aggressive. They're taking the round wins. Let's have a four-man stack on this side because they have Zipex pushed all the way down to the bottom of Banana already. So they have good positions to try and hold this one. Coming around long. The Vice is the first man to fall, but Glaive has the AWP and he gets the help of Magisk. It may not be quite enough. Now he's in a pretty tough spot being trapped around Moto. And indeed being peeked from up on the balcony. We're actually seeing Heretics claiming control of the bomb site. No way he's winning this at this point. The time is too far gone. So it's just about the kills at the end. Astralis is so rich. He can play for the exit frags, but he's not going to get any of them. Lucky nails the shot. So this is going to be quite difficult for them to hold. One towards the graveyard being Dupree. Okay, pops up just as Kiyoshima comes around the corner. Got oh, a nade on the Maka as well. That should finish him off. That's the bomb. They're going to have to spend a bit of time going and retrieving that now. That's a huge kill. Maka going down and they're not moving. Well, they're moving back to the apartments to get that bomb. But Dupree has still got this angle. He is picking them apart in this round. And Lucky is trying to wrap round, but he's the last man standing. He's got to get the bomb in a 1v3. There's so little time. 15 seconds. You've got to go, buddy. You've got to go. It's the last round. You have to try this, Lucky. He doesn't like his chances, though. He's finally moving in. And Dupree will take it away with the ace. Well worked by Dupree at the end. They're shutting them down.